hi. Hello. So, a couple of things. This is in light of the whole COVID-19. It's not a panic thing. We have enough of that. I wanted to come on here and say this. We're lonelier as a society than we've ever been, according to whatever, right? We're all way more connected, but we're all so isolated and, and really unhappy because of it. And But in a way, that's probably good. It's been training us for something like this, where we have to stay home. Um, people can't go to work. And they are kind of, it's like a, a forcible vacation, right? Even though it's probably not pleasant and financial hardship comes into play. I understand all of that. I have something that I must say, and it's this. All of us who can stay home or who have to stay home or are unable to go to work because of business closure, um, the guidelines recommended by the experts in the government, that all sucks for some people. But that aside, I got to say that I want to, if there's a kudos score and the kudos score was 0 to 15 and 15 is the most kudos you could give anybody in the history of Evers, I would like to give all of the kudos to the people who can't stay home, the people who are working in this, who have to work in this. Those people are the ones who, if it were a zombie apocalypse, they would be the first ones to see the zombies. And that is your emergency medical responders, um, law enforcement officers, and the healthcare field in general. And when I say emergency medical services, I mean not ambulance drivers, I mean your EMRs, your EMTs, your advanced EMTs, your paramedics, and your critical care medics, you guys get all of the kudos because you guys are literally the antibiotic that is fighting with the bacteria in the freaking Petri dish, what it is. You guys are putting literally your health and your lives at risk. And you police officers, same. You're putting yourselves at risk and at the front of this incredible pandemic. And, and it's not over. It's never over. So on top of your already heavy caseload, on top of already all of the calls that you have to run, you're dealing with... COVID-19 and you aren't home with your families. You, you don't have the option to be off work and have a forced staycation. You're out there working yourselves to death and putting yourselves at risk to help overcome this thing, to treat the people who are sick to treat people who are dying and all of you deserve fucking all of it. You, you're amazing and I don't think that my saying I appreciate that, I really can appreciate that and I do, it's not going to mean anything but just know that I can dig it and um, I know that you are absolutely amazing. I don't care if you're the crappiest provider in the world or the best. You deserve equal credit for being there and being the people out in this. I know you're exhausted. I know that you're overworked. I know that you're underpaid and I know that it's fucking sucky at times, but all of the kudos go to you. Law enforcement officers, the same. Anybody who's out responding to this in any way, all of the kudos to you. Thank you to the healthcare, the hospitals, the clinics, the 
emergency room staff all over the fucking world, same to you. Kudos, all of the kudos. You can have them all. Nobody else gets any. <laughs> um, <clears throat> because that ain't easy. And you guys are missing your families and you're putting yourselves and even your families at risk. And you're doing it because it's part of who you are and it's your job and you're not failing and so that is fucking amazing so thanks I had to say that because it's easy to forget that it's easy to have your own universe in something like this and be like oh my problems are the problems that matter but let's not forget that there are people out there who are working their asses off to treat people and to to give people comfort and give people medical care when they need it and seriously they're working their asses off I know this I know this and I've never seen this in my lifetime anything like this SARS and H1N1 and hand virus and all that crap nothing like this so I just can say, please, people, follow the guidelines that the experts are suggesting. Not panic, but follow the guidelines so that you can protect yourselves and so that we are, we are not overloading the already overloaded healthcare system because we're not taking something seriously or we're taking unnecessary risk. Not suggesting anybody's not taking it seriously but that if we take unnecessary risks we're putting a lot of people in harm's way not just ourselves so no panic of course we all know what's going on but please just do me this favor if you're sick stay away from people you don't use the healthcare system unless you absolutely need to. If it's an emergency, you know when you're in an emergency. Don't use it unless you're in that place where you need that treatment. You need attention medically right now. It's all right. Stay home when you're sick, unless you're too sick, which we all know we get to that point. And let's do our best to help keep this under control so that the people who are out there working 24 seven or very long hours and who are exhausted emotionally, physically, and psychologically, let's try to help them. We can help by doing things to mitigate risk for ourselves. So can we do that? So yeah, anyhow, that was really just a big old long soapbox opera thing, but it was really just a thank you to the first responders out there um, and the healthcare system and all the people who are in it and I'm so grateful that you guys are doing that because it isn't over till it's over and it's only gonna get worse before it gets better and you guys are absolutely divine for what you're doing you are so all the loves all of the kudos on the kudos scale and I'm so grateful to the people that I know who are on the internet along with me and being like what's up over there but we're not actually touching we're just touching across the internet not actually sharing germs <laughs> uh, uh, and all of the loves to you guys and um, I hope that you stay safe and well I hope that we do all of us stay safe and well even though I know it's not likely that that's going to happen entirely we got to think differently we have to start thinking differently and we know how to do it let's just put it into action so that we can mitigate risk for ourselves and then for those who are literally sacrificing themselves for our our well-being all the loves Okay, I'm going to stop now, and I'm going to go to bed, I hope. Okay, good night.